Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to League One Prediction. For you guys that don't know, I'm going to predict the Premier League Championship League One and Two every week this season. So a lot of prediction videos coming up, plus more. Um, so make sure you subscribe for that. Um, but, um, oh yeah, and uh, I'm going to be doing EFL. Um, and the FA Cup predictions from the outskirts of the proper first round um, because I'm doing the low leagues this year. So, you know, but um, just before I get started, there is a couple of things I've got to mention. Um, Bolton's game goes ahead as planned. Unfortunately, due to the problems up at Berry, um, Barry's game has been suspended, so I will not be covering that game, obviously because it's been suspended. Might be rescheduled to be replayed, but the way Barry are looking, you know, I hope you get out of your trouble soon. And same with Bolton, because they were roughly in the same boat. Uh, they just uh, escaped it. But um, guys, Let's get this video underway, guys. You know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to kick off with is um, AFC Wimbledon versus Wolfram. Um, Wolfram do okay in League One. They do uh, go up and then they come back down. Wimbledon on the other hand, and it, yet again, it's really a sham age. I remember when they used to play in the Premier League. Um, I was very young then, so you can sort of work out how old I am if you go back and, you know, you get the rough idea. Um, but Wimbledon down in League 2 now, I think they've reformed themselves. They used to be called Wimbledon, now they're called AFC Wimbledon. I think when they're called Wimbledon, that went under, um, you know, uh, got liquidised. But obviously we found themselves as AFC Wimbledon, so one it is good to see clubs come back under different names and such. But for this game, I'm going for a one 0 Wimbledon win. Um, I just don't think we'll from turn up the first couple of weeks of asking, but I will expect uh, Wolverham to be back up in the top come the end of the season. The next one is Blackpool versus Bristol Rovers. Now Blackpool is another great club you can look at that's had their financial problems um, and had had their problems over the past few years. Um, but, you know, being reformed, um, looking to come back up slowly, possibly back in the championship in the next few years. Um, Bristol Rovers on the other hand, they okay. They, I'd, I'd probably call them an average League One team. And um, no disrespect to Bristol Rovers, just don't think they're gonna quite get up there yet. But you know, you can never say never. Um, but for this game, I'm going for a Blackpool win, and I'm going for a three 0 Blackpool win. The next one is Burton Albion versus Ipswich Town. Old Championship fixture is this um, Ittridge dropping down from the Championship. Um, Burton Albion, I think they came down the year before. Correct me, um, Burton Albion fans, and if I'm wrong, Ittridge as well. Um, but, you know, with Ittridge, I do think they deserve to be in the Championship at least. Yet again, I was born all that time ago when Itchridge used to play Premier League football, so, you know. Um, but anyway, for this game, I've gone for a 3-2 scoreline for Itchridge Town. Um, the next one it was supposed to be Berry versus MK Dons, as I said, suspended, so we move on. Um, Coventry City versus Southend United. Um, Coventry City have to play at Birmingham this season due to losing the Rico Arena. Um, they didn't lose it, they've just been thrown out basically. But as far as I know, the Rico Arena is still there. But um, this is basically Birmingham's ground behind me and not the Rico Arena. Um, 
or the Rico Stadium, or whatever you want to call it. But yet again, I remember Coventry used to play Premier League football. This is where I sit down and I'm like, well, how many teams I've lost over the few, like, my lifetime is quite surprising. Um, going up against South End, South End do okay in this league. Um, but I've gone for a 3 2 Coventry City win for this one. Coventry City's problems, I think they go on to correct it sooner rather than later. Um, the next one is Doncaster Rovers versus Gillingham. Uh, Doncaster Rovers, I think, will be in the playoffs come the end of the season. But they're going to have to work for it. I think what they did last season was, you know, okay. But, you know, you've got to do it again, basically. So, um, Gillingham, on the other hand, don't know too much about them. I wish I did. But I've gone for a 2-1 Doncaster win for that one. The next one is Lincoln City versus Accrington Stanley. I'll let you do the voice. Um, but, you know, what Lincoln have done over the past few years under two brothers is incredible. Uh, you know, going from non-league to league two to league one. Who knows, given about 10 years, could possibly be playing Premier League football. You know, I think what the brothers have done there is incredible. Accrican Stanley, um, as I'd probably call them an average sort of League 2 team, they never seem to really be up in that bracket come the end of the season where possibly a slight push for a promotion. But for this game, I've gone for a one all scoreline for that one. The next one is Peaceborough versus Fleetwood Town. Now, I, I know when Peaceborough just playing the championship, I know it wasn't that too long ago. Um, but, you know, Fleetwood on the other hand ain't a bad team either. So I've gone yet again for one all score line for that one. The next one is Shrewsbury Town versus Portsmouth. Now, yet again, I know when Portsmouth used to play in the Championship, and yet again when, Watford, uh, when Portsmouth used to play in the Premier League. So, you know, seeing Portsmouth down there, it really is a real eye-opener for clubs like up in the Premier League, like, let's say, for example, Southampton. You know, Bournemouth, they've done the journey, but I could end up back in this, so this way you got to go careful in football and win most of your games. Um, Shrewsbury, on the other hand, yeah, again, they're sort of that average shorter team, you know, they're never really up there, but I think they deserve to be up there. But, obviously, 46 games is a long way to go. But I've gone for a 2-0 Portsmouth win for that one. My next one is Sunderland versus Oxford United. Um, Oxford, what do you say about Oxford? Um, great London team. Uh, great where they are for their, uh, their club. Um, obviously, the ground they got, the money they got. You know, fair play to them. Um, yet again, Sunderland have done that massive, massive drop from the Premier League to the Championship. To league one, um, but thankfully they didn't go down to league two, otherwise, I would be pretty worried. Um, but yet yeah, again, I'm used to something being a championship club. I disrespect to him, your ground is too good to be in league one, or no other disrespect to league one clubs by that. Um, but I've gone for a 2 1 Sunderland win, a long trip up for them, Oxford uh, United players and fans as well. The next one is Tramia Rovers versus Rochdale. Um, Tramia don't play too badly over the season, but getting going, I think it's a bit of a tough start um, for teams like Tramia and Rochdale, which is why I've gone for a 0 0 scoreline for that one. My last one for this weekend is. Bolton versus Wickham Wonders, or Wickham Wonders versus Bolton, whatever way you want to put it. Um, 
As I said at the top of this video, Bolton are in financial trouble. Uh, I know, I know bits about it. I'm not gonna get bogged in, into it because I don't wanna, you know, brag about it and make this video longer than what I have to. Um, but I hope your financial problems get sorted out soon. Um, Wickham, on the other hand, are a really good at uh, League One side. Uh, Possibly, I'll say about five years, we can, could be in the championship. But I've gone for one all scoreline for that one. Um, so guys, as I said, don't look too good for Berry or Bolton. Bolton have got this Saturday's game going ahead. Uh, Berry unfortunately hasn't. Um, but if you'd like to see a prediction on that Berry game, if it gets rescheduled, um, you know, put it down in the comments below and I will do um, suspended games. So, guys, you know what to do. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Share for that.